The first ever Broadway revival of Doubt, a parable, is now open on Broadway with Amy Ryan and Leah Schreiber. Doubt won the Tony and Pulitzer two decades ago. But even if you don't know the play, you probably know the playwright. I love you. What? Snap out of it! John Patrick Shanley won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay when he wrote Moonstruck, starring Cher and Nick Cage back in 1987. But doubt is not all, far from it. His latest play, Brooklyn Laundry, just premiered at New York City Center and the off-Broadway revival of Danny and the Deep Blue Sea just wrapped up its production in January. We got to know award-winning playwright John Patrick Shanley. No, I certainly didn't see it coming. And what's more, I was not the engineer of this partic uh, particular uh, triumvirate. This was um, three very different eras. I wrote Danny and the Deep Blue Sea 40 years ago. Uh, and Aubrey Plaza and Chris Abbott did it in the fall here in New York and very well. Uh, and then uh, I was at the first read through for that and became very emotional as I was sort of brought back to where I was when I wrote that play. And then Doubt, I did 20 years ago, uh, you know, went to the first read through of that. And that's a very different kind of experience. It's not just a straight emotional roller coaster like Danny. It's uh, a more measured, uh, contemplative, and provocative piece. Uh, and uh, but I found myself, you know, revisiting the me of 20 years ago. And then uh, I was directing Brooklyn Laundry, which is a play that I wrote now, and uh, it did, the whole thing did make my head spin a little bit. It's like being caught in some kind of diorama. I wrote Doubt, when I did the play originally, the world around me, the New York City and America in general, were in a much more complacent time. And so I was uh, uh, in the minority in feeling deeply uneasy. Everybody around me seemed to know exactly what the present was and what the future was going to be, and they were all wrong. The world as we knew it in my little neighborhood in the Bronx at this church school was about to be swept away. And these nuns would no longer be in these habits, uh, and the people who lived in the neighborhood would largely move away, and everything would be different, and nobody knew it. So I wrote Doubt feeling that. And now, guess what? Everything's been swept away that were the certainties that we had, and we're living on top of an earthquake. And now the whole audience walks in deeply uneasy, and they are comforted by the play. Whereas the first time, they were probably more disturbed by it. This time they're like, I know what you're talking about, brother. I always knew I was gonna write a play about the nuns because I knew them like the back of my hand. I had them for eight years. I didn't bother to change the names of the nuns because they were dead. This happened, you know, I, when I was at that school, the sister James, my first grade school teacher, I was six, so she was dead by now. And then when we did the show, in previews, a, a woman came up to me from the Bronx, very excited, and said, I told Sister James you were doing a play about her, and she's so excited she's coming tonight. And I'm like, she's alive? I was so alarmed. I saw just lawsuits all around me. Uh, and she said, yeah, and she's bringing the other nun who taught the other half of first grade back then. So these two nuns show up uh, and uh, sat down next to me, and we together watched this play, which was set in uh, and designed to look exactly like that school and churchyard looked all those many years ago. And so it turned out she was looking into the past through a magic window and seeing herself at that age in, a, in the bonnet and oh, they, don't wear, they don't wear those habits anymore. Uh, and it was a surreal experience for both of us. She attended the 20th anniversary as well and was really in the pink and sharp as a tack. Uh, so not a bad thing to become a nun. Whenever I do a play, I, sw uh, I swear, I will never do it again. And the next, I'll do films, I'll do television, but I'll never do a play again. And when I'm doing a film, exact same thing. I'm never doing this again. I'm going back to the theater. And so apparently I'm just a guy who needs to know where the exit is.